This is just going to be a very quick video. I've decided to make it to try and help save time for anyone that encounters the same problem I have recently with this 3D printer. If you don't recognize it, it's a Flash Forge Guider 2. I have shown this printer before on various uh, videos. I really don't like it. I've got a number of 3D printers and this is always the last one that I select to do any printing but it is the biggest volume printer that I have so sometimes I need to use it just because of the size of the print. It's very aggravating to use, it's horrendously slow to start the print, if you have to stop and restart it takes an age. Um, but fundamentally we got it tuned to the point where it could be used and mostly it's used with PLA. Now if you're familiar with using 3D printers then you'll know that depending on the filament type that you use you have to fairly accurately uh, set up the printer temperatures, so the extruder temperature, the platform temperature, the print speeds, all this has to be fairly accurately set up and it may even be a case that you have to modify it slightly depending on uh, the supplier of the filament that you're using. This machine has been upgraded to all metal hot end uh, I normally use a magnetic uh, platform on it, it helps get the models off. We use it mostly for printing large items, so uh, we need to be able to get the models off uh, even if they have quite a large surface area. And over the year or so I've had this, the temperatures have been fairly accurately dialed in and it's not especially critical, but we need to be within 5 degrees or so to get it to print properly, uh, and more importantly if we want the models to adhere to the print bed then we need to make sure that we have uh, a fairly well defined uh, filament extrusion temperature set up and uh, a reasonable bed temperature as well. For this machine I've had it set up at uh, 195 degrees for the extruder and 60 degrees for the platform and that's for the PLA. Uh, we find if we don't have those settings then uh, we can't get the model to adhere properly to the print bed uh, or we get a lot of uh, stringing and uh, oozing from the um, extruder. Uh, and as I say, over the year or so this has been fairly accurately dialed in and it's been printing reasonably well now for eight or nine months, doing some fairly large uh, print runs that are normally left to run overnight. And we haven't had to adjust the settings. We put it through the same software, Data Slicer, um, put the models into the machine and it, um, it ran reasonably consistently. However, we left it running overnight recently and it had stopped extruding halfway through the run. Now it normally does that if the top cover's on and the head gets too hot. What happens is the filament folds over before it goes into the extruder uh, and then it binds up and it stops going through. It does that now and again, um, as long as we leave the top off and the door open with PLA it's uh, not too bad, um, but it can still cause a problem if it's printing a fairly slow part of the uh, model, then what will happen is the filament's not going through quickly enough, uh, the filament gets too hot just above the nozzle uh, and it folds over and it stops extruding. Now normally it's just a case of uh, unloading the filament, reloading it, restarting it and then it's fine. Uh, and it normally only does it in high temperatures when the room's fairly warm but it was quite a cold night so I was quite surprised that it had done that. Um, so I unloaded the filament, tried to reload it but nothing would come out of the extruder and it looks like there was something in the nozzle so clean that out, unblocked it. Try to reload the um, filament, the Loading went fine, we saw the filament being extruded as it normally would be. Quite a nice consistent um, stream of filament coming out. Thought that the problem was solved. Uh, we were still using the same um, reel, what was left on the reel of filament, so we hadn't changed the filament. Tried to restart the job, but when it um, got to the point where it should have started extruding on the first layer, nothing came out of the extruder. So assumed that I hadn't loaded the filament properly, cancelled the run, came back, unloaded, cut the end a few feet of the filament off just to make sure, reloaded the filament, let it um, load for a good probably 8-10 inches, 
and um, then restarted the run. Um, but once again, despite the loading showing it was extruding fine, uh, when we came to run the actual job, nothing was extruded. So after a lot of messing about, we finally got it to the point where it would start to extrude at the beginning of the run, um, but then it would stop after a few minutes um, extruding and wouldn't uh, then extrude again until we tried to unload and reload the filament. And this went on for the best part of a day and uh, haven't had to adjust the temperatures uh, really at all over the last 10 months and um, was a bit confused by this so thought perhaps there was a blockage in the nozzle put a, a new nozzle on, still had the same issue replaced the filament, still had the same issue raised the temperature of the job up by uh, 10 degrees so went from 195 to 205 bear in mind this is PLA, that should be easily hot enough I'd had, I should say, taken the um, head out at this point to check it, check the drive um, gear for the um, filament drive, that was fine, nothing was burnt, the resistance of the thermistor was as it should be, the resistance of the heater was fine, and um, it was getting a bit confusing, tried different filaments, same problem, even tried changing the uh, platform um, covering. Um, that made no difference, still had the same problem. And it was just, it would uh, load, it would extrude fine when it was loading, but as soon as we tried to start a uh, print job, um, it would extrude at the beginning of the job. Nothing would adhere to the bed and either would end up with a huge mass of um, partially melted filament on the nozzle moving around. Nothing stuck to the bed and just could not get anything to adhere to the bed and the um, extruder stops extruding. So after a lot of messing about, checking all the parts in the uh, extruder, tried yet a, a, another new nozzle, it was definitely not blocked, couldn't find anything wrong with this at all. And uh, what it finally seems to have turned out to be is it looks like something in the firmware has lost a setting and we found that if we increase the job temperature by 35 degrees up to 230 degrees then it would run fine exactly as it used to run before uh, exactly the same results and um, we're kind of back to the printing that we had except that we've had to raise the extruder temperature by 35 degrees for all the jobs uh, which if you know um, printing with PLA is, is uh, nonsense that's if we tried printing at that temperature this is at 230 degrees, then you know it just wouldn't work properly. So we think that what's happened is there must be a configuration file or something in the firmware that's uh, been corrupt. I haven't looked into it in any more detail, but if you come across the same thing, then it's well worth trying that. Uh, we haven't had to go back, done maybe 50, 60 hours of printing since we've raised the temperatures and everything uh, is still running the, as if though we were running at 195. Um, no excess stringing, no oozing. The models are exactly as we used to get at 195 degrees. So something gone wrong with this somewhere. And um, as I say, it's going to be scrapped fairly soon anyway. So I can't be bothered to look into it in more detail. But if you do get the same symptoms, then just try raising the temperature by quite a, a lot more than you would normally expect to and see if that cures the problem. It certainly cured it on this. Um, I have since measured the temperature of the extruder and it is slightly hot. It's about, um, I guess, 10 degrees hotter than I would normally expect to have to have it. But it is quite close to the temperature that's been displayed on the unit. So it just looks like it's a a temperature calibration or something like that. It's definitely not a faulty uh, thermistor. I've replaced it. it, makes no difference. And um, as I say, it's kind of a strange one, but hopefully uh, it could save you some time if you come across the same problem.